Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. You know, you push out so much positivity. Even though we go through so much hell, you keep pushing and knowing better days are coming for you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, you know, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video is videos have been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a family or family member or a friend go ahead and do so and while you're at it please go ahead and share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today this beautiful peaceful meditation that i'm listening to today let me turn it down a little bit um it's called sofigo Stop. Yeah. So Figo 852 Hertz, awakening the genus genius within, awakening the inner strength and dissolve negative energy. I'll post that link in the description box below. I was looking at the time. I said, I know I got to go get my daughter in a minute. But I said, I can go ahead and shoot this off for a few minutes. But yeah, my video today is when the dark, don't let the darkness overrule your light. Show your light. You know, we there are so many times when you're heading towards bigger blessings, you know that there's always something that's going to come shake up the mix, you know. There's always going to be devil going to throw a monkey wrench in your program, but you cannot allow that to overpower the things that you're trying to do. You know, lately I've been getting so many comments, you know, let me know. People are going through so many things. People are trying to be intimidating towards them. Um, you know, they do very uh, verbal abuse, you know, sometimes it can be physical abuse. And then that's when you know you have to put your foot down. You have to step away you know know that you're you, you got worth for yourself you know you don't have to deal with stuff like that I, you know I used to go through things like that and even though I'm not where I want to be at I already know what I'm not going to tolerate you know you can't always you can't control what people say to you but you always control what you know how you respond to it you can even walk away you know like I was telling you all the other day you know I was on this uh, twin flame uh, group and on Facebook now mind you these these ad mids creators and things you know these people I'm looking at these you know all these beautiful statements or people going through things and not really getting you know any kind of replies back people you know there'd be one or two people would like or love it and wouldn't say anything and all of a sudden when I push out positivity they shut down the comments saying no you can't talk about this and you don't have a permission to do that I'm like well shoot you're not doing your job these people want to know and I already know I can do that but as soon as I said it wasn't like I was soliciting my channel or anything like that but if you're an empath or you're a twin flame and you're going through things and I know I can help you you know that's what I, that's what my intentions were I said well you know I got my own channel you know if you want to go ahead and check that out or you're going through this for a reason because universe has to have you do this and this and this and that because you know when you you can think a twin flame is a twin flame and end up being a false one you know don't don't turn your back on love don't make that bitter you know I went through hell went through a relationship for hell for 20 years everything was done to me up under the sun and you know it really made me look at people different you know and it's just like when I see people go through things and especially like celebrities and I see they can just walk away. I always get so aggravated because I say you have the power to walk away and you don't. You know, it's just like, especially if you have children in the mix, you know, I had to learn the hard way. You never want your children to ever see you go through that because they, they'll end up being with somebody like that. Or, you know, you don't want to set the example for your children saying, okay, this is okay to go through that. It's never okay. When you're going through a domestic violence or being in an abusive situation, if you can get out, please get out. You know, stand your, you know, stand in, stand in your, your power, stand in your truth, walk in your truth. You know, don't make excuses for that person thinking they're going to change or, you know, if I stay for a while, they're going to do that. People change when they want to change. You know, people, when they see that you have that big light towards you and they feel like, you know, you're a threat to them, they will try to break you down in, each, in any kind of way they possibly can. You don't have to deal with that. 
you know, I mean, if it could be a boss or whatever, you can pull that boss aside. And if you got to deal with that, go to a corporate, go over stuff like that. Or, you know, you got things that's going on with your job. You write, make sure you write them down. So when a situation pop off, you can go ahead and you got all your receipts to have approved that. I've been through situations like that before. So it's just like when you're going through things, don't allow that darkness to creep over you because the devil never wants to see us happy. Like I was telling y'all about the movie I was watching, The Right, the other day um, with Anthony Hopkins. And that's a really good movie. I've seen that movie about three or four daggone times. And it's just this time it was so much different because I can relate to everything this man went through. You know, he lost his mom at an early age. I didn't lose my, my mom as a child, my adopted mom as a child. But I lost her at an early age. I was like 25, 26. So I had to be that grown adult to be able to sign papers and do all these things, medical uh, decisions. And that really put a lot of pressure on me. It stressed me out because I'm just like, oh, my God, I hope I'm doing the right thing for my mom. You know, I, I, you know, I hope I'm not making it, you know, a decision that might be harm, more harm than good. But my mom knew I was doing the best thing I could, even though my mom passed. I was blessed to be able to go through that. But at that time, I really was mad at God, like how me and my mom been in an abusive relationship, you know, for so many years because my dad had put her through so much. You know, it had me looking at her funny. You know how people can't control you. They will control how people look at you. And that's always like that. You know, especially if they feel like you're a threat or they feel like, you know, you have, you have that glow up that they can't get to. But I just feel like anybody, if you... You don't have to sit up here and stoop to somebody's level to get ahead. You know, I hate it when people do that because if you feel like you're genuine in what you do and you know you don't work your butt off, it's going to eventually pay off. Don't sit up here and sleep around or do this and this and that to try to hurt somebody to get, you know, get where you want to get because, you know, when it comes all the way around, you want to have some bad stuff happen. So it's just like I say, be genuine in everything you do. You know, there's a lot of people who don't like me. I don't care. I don't worry about what people think about me because I know if I'm working my butt off towards something, I know I'm pushing out more positivity than anything. You know, I keep it real with people. I let people know everybody has a past. People got skeletons in their closet, but I ain't got skeletons in mine. You know, I just try to let all my stuff out. So it's like nobody can't judge because I always be open and honest about things. Let you know, hey, we all have a past, but you can't judge me on my past. Just judge me about how things, you know, I use that as a stepping stone on how I got here today because those things is not me anymore. Those things I don't do anymore, but has helped me and humbled the heck out of me to let me know, hey, we all got bad days. You know, it doesn't mean we're going to have a bad life. You might have went through things before, but that is not what you're going through now. So it's just like when you concentrate on the positivity, concentrate on your growth and the things that you know you're pushing towards, let that light shine. If people get intimidated by you, so the hell what? You just keep on stepping. <laughs> you just keep on stepping. Do what you need to do for yourself and don't let nobody tell you different. You know, I mean, it's just a blessing when I can get y'all's comments and y'all have me like in tears. Like, you know, Rosalind, the universe is speaking through you. I just ask them, you know, what do I need to tell people? What is it that they need to hear today? You know, we you might have had a bad day yesterday, but try to look at the, the good things that came along that day. Don't think about the bad things, you know. I, I can say when I have a bad day, I'm so blessed that I can be able to deal with it without having to pick up a cigarette, without having to pick up, you know, a joint or a marijuana, uh, marijuana blunt or, you know, pick up a wine cooler or a glass of wine. I can be able to deal with it sober, head on and say, you know what, this might have happened today, but it ain't going to happen tomorrow. You know, and I just look at so many things in a positive direction because I know better things are going to happen for me. You know, I know my family's trying to have me killed. I know I got all armor God around me. I'm not worried about stuff like that. I know people are trying to get me hurt because of who I am. And they didn't want me to find out who I was. But that's all right. I'm going to do what I need to do and keep pushing. So it's like if you have a bad day, just look for the better things that happen in that day. Be grateful for always tomorrow. And there's always the next day to start all over from fresh. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love and light to everyone. So now as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Know you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and my post notification goes out to Shaif Bone so I much love to you love and blessings and love and light and many blessings are yet going to come y'all way drop me a line give me a thumbs up you know let me know what what kind of you know impact the gift has been placed upon you and now it's pushing you towards a better direction and I will see you on my next video peace and be wild